preparation we have the car up on four jack stands and all four wheels off if you don't have the ability to do that you can do one wheel at a time it's just going to be more of a pain because the way the abs bleed works is front driver front passenger rear passenger rear driver a regular bleed is rear passenger rear driver front passenger front driver and so if you do these bleeds back to back and you're having to keep jacking up and removing tires it's kind of a pain whereas if you have all four of them off it makes it easier the other preparation we've done is hooked up our motive bleeder testing it it's holding pressure so i will fill it with brake fluid uh, this is optional for the abs bleed however if you don't do it it's pretty easy to run the master cylinder empty during the abs bleed ask me how i know the other optional thing is to have a battery charger hooked up to your battery preferably one that puts out at least 10 amps you might even go to the engine start mode if it has it that way while your abs pump is running for a minute and a half at a time it's not going to run your battery dead you know you may have a healthy enough battery to survive it without the charger but the charger certainly makes it a safer option for you this is now filled with a full bottle of fluid 32 ounces pumped up to 15 and i'll check it between each wheel because it's going to drop down a little bit as i do each wheel I've already cracked it loose, so now I'm just going to open it up until I start seeing the fluid coming out. You see what it tends to do is it tends to turn back to closed once you take the tool off. Okay, our key is in the run position with the engine off. We have our X tool up, we'll hit special functions, ABS bleed. And we'll find Ford USA. Let it automatically detect. Crown Vic. Okay. System selection, any lock brakes, special functions, service, any lock. Okay, so this will be the same as if you have a four scan or another scan tool. And we're ready to rock and we're going to press the brake pedal every two seconds. Back and just do a manual bleed starting in the passenger rear. And we're just going to look to see if any air comes out. And theoretically, there should not be air because we did pump out quite a bit of fluid, but there's always a chance that we pumped out with the ABS bleed but didn't get the air all the way out so it could still be stuck in the brake line somewhere so far there's nothing but fluid coming through here I will let the bottle go to at least a half a bottle probably 
As you see, we're not getting any air. You can see there's a bunch of air bubbles coming out now. A bunch. Look at all that. So there hopefully goes my spongy pedal. <laughs> Hopefully that's not being sucked in from around the bleeder valve. Because that is a lot of air. Doesn't look like any more air is coming out. I've almost filled the bleeder bottle, so I'll go ahead and stop this wheel and reset and go to the next wheel. I'm not seeing bubbles yet. It's always an exciting thing when you see air bubbles if you've had any kind of brake pedal issues. Those bubbles start coming out. So far, nothing but fluid. But I'm gonna go ahead and run this one just like I did the other side. I'm gonna let it pretty much fill up the bottle. 